go guys we are back with another episode of nigerian pro league's quarterfinals as is the i'm not sure how many days is left for the quarterfinals but we definitely have four matches coming up for you a lot of action and if we quickly look at who is in these lobbies the current teams playing tonight is the outlaws predators the o3 brothers vibe gaming upper six fear esports first arctics Unknown Soldiers, Old Guards, Foul Play, Dream Team, Angels and Demons, Dark Ninjas, 21st Century, Citizens, No Gaming, and Sector 7. So those are the teams that are going to compete tonight for a spot in the quarterfinals to qualify for the semifinals. And we're getting to an end and I can already see a couple of teams that are progressing, especially Team Citizens and Fear that have dominated last night. Are they going to do again the same tonight? Let's jump right into the action, into game one, which will be an Irangle match and see who's going to take the first chicken dinner. Already see where a couple of teams landed. Like everyone going to the regional locations 21st century inside a military base dream team in novo citizens taking those farms with the predators in malta and there is our first zone beautiful zone there on the eastern side with shelter right there in the center already see the unknown soldiers rotating away from upper six there on top on the northern side the old guards here on the right hand side next to the povka still have no gaming in tight pachinki and the Dark Ninjas just rotating right past Sector 7 here at the west southern side. Let's go have a look and see. It looks like there's two teams right here on Citizens. Citizens have been very aggressive uh, yesterday. See if we can get the game sound back. It's working a second ago. Let, let us engage with Oh, and Sector 7 runs over Dark Ninjas. Viper there in a the kill feed. But let's quickly have a look here. What is going to happen between citizens? And they do lose a member with the rest of the teams. 11. Oh, they're all pushing in, but it's a little bit too slow. He got one knock, though. Beautifully done. We'll sort out the game sound in a second. Let's quickly see if we can get this action sorted before we switch over 11 pushing on in does have a full team right there in front of him they have gotten that revive in already have angelo out on that left hand side with ajiro power and hunter inside the warehouse looks like they're all pushing in too look at this beautiful flank here from ghost on the side here might just get a different angle in comes the deer as well a little bit late to the party but better late than never who's gonna take this engagement and citizens be stopped right here by angels and demons ghost coming in there from a the side there who's gonna get that knock oh and ghost go ghost got spotted there beautiful eyes there behind them and they spot him as he came in for that a wide flank from behind. Looks like it's changing angles yet again. Is this time going to be better? I think they definitely hear the vehicle. Surely angels and demons definitely must have their eyes on him. Do you see the deer there? Or oh, doing a little bit of damage onto the deer? Hunter here, uh, look, where's this ghost? Ghost still trying to be a ghost. Trying to find him, because it's all hiding behind there. You know, slowly pushing on up as well. 11 right there on top of Angelo. One nade might just get that open knock for him. Only he had nades. 
Ooh, beautiful night there. Getting 11 down very low. Goes still waiting for that perfect knot to push on in. As well as the deer just holding that angle. Sort the in-game sound out in a second. So if his teams ain't taking any risks just yet. Okay, so while that we are waiting for them to get an open knock, let's see if we can get the sound quickly working. ourselves some video but we still don't have any sound why do we not have any sound still no knock still no engagements nothing yet What did I say if all else fails? Just reboot the capture card. Still nothing happening. Still holding that same warehouse. Everyone just waiting to get that first knock. Waiting for the first team to make a mistake. We have the video, but it looks like we've got no sound. All right, let's play. Let's let's play it through the phone speakers. Let's, let's see how that goes for now. For some reason, it's not picking up the audio through the capture card. But that's okay. I mean, it, it happens. It happens. It's part of hardware. One second it works perfectly, and the next second after you tested it and it worked and you decide to leave everything, don't touch anything and start the stream, that's when things go haywire. But okay, it's still Angel of the Demons versus Citizens right here inside Multipower, the rest of the team slowly rotating into zone as you can see the Dream Team coming down there from the south over the bridge and gonna run right into the Predators, 21st century in the vehicle starting to rotate as well. Sector 7 and Dark Ninjas way west south and side there next to Fairy Pier and Primo's side. They all got a very fairly far way to go. As well as the O3 Brothers and Unknown Soldiers got a very long way to rotate. First off, it's way on top there at the northern side. Oh, and down goes 11. Is this going to be the push for Angels and Demons? I think this might just be it. And Tadia uh, just still waiting there for them to start their, their push. As well as Ghost. Who is going to get that second knock? Suddenly it looks like these guys got a Red Bull and then they're all jumping and running and celebrating but no one's pushing, they're still holding the same warehouse. I mean with a knock, that uh, surely the knock should indicate that you guys need to push. Uh, go confirm the kill, get the rest of them. It is the citizens, they are leading, they dominated yesterday, stopped them right here in their tracks. There's only two, it's a 4v2, should be easy. If only they can find them, they know where Ghost is. They confirmed one, they knocked another one, so there's two left. So I think they're just waiting to actually see where the second player is. Okay, let's try and reconnect it one more time. See if this works it out. And the deer moving in closer to 11. And now they're coming in for the push. Here comes the push. Exactly what they wanted. Oh, 11 gets confirmed. Oh, they get the deer very low. He's 1 HP. 
this should be it. Every one day you get him down, and it's now all down to Ghost. In comes Ghost here from behind. Oh no, he's just gonna rotate right past him. No problem at all. Go for the placement points. Try again next time. Nasri, yes, I know there's no game sound. I said it four, five, maybe even ten times. All the teams starting to rotate in. Currently, Vibe almost center zone. They got a beautiful position here inside the center of zone. Capture card is still not picking up sound for some reason. And the other thing I can think of, let's disconnect the HDMI cable. Plug that back in. Let's see. Let's see if that does anything. the shots the vibe that have had one knock onto no gaming while the rest of no gaming is just gonna rotate out of there and vibe does get confirmed oh they're gonna run right into 21st century right here next to them All right, there's no other way. We'll just continue with it as is for this game. As soon as this game is over, I'll restart it all and see if that maybe fixes it. There was sound when we did the checks, and now there's no sound. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna use the mic and the the, the phone sound for for now. <coughs> Not ideal, but it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, fear. Stole zero kills on the board, stole a full team. It's down to Outcast, Chatra, Neo, and Swags YT. Oh, and they get one knocked and confirmed there on the unknown soldiers. Here's the unknown soldiers. They came way up from this side. Already lost senior boy. Down to bad man Genos and Josh trying to get out of there. Currently, Batman stuck here with 21st century right below them. Soon about to close. Almost all the teams is in except for the Dark Ninjas that still need to got a far way to rotate into the zone. Dream Team taking that bridge right there on the southern center. Beer on farm, no gaming on top of the hill over Malta. The Predators stole inside Malta. Angels and Demons won against the Citizens. They're moving out in from Malta Power closer. They're going to run into the last prayer from Citizens onto Ghost. Vibe Gaming almost sent the zone of the Unknown Soldiers, 21st Century, and the Old Gods all taking that northwestern side of the zone. Upper six first Arctics all way up north for foul play inside Lepovka. Interesting tactic. It'll be interesting to see where the zone is gonna go. Oh, they still got their eyes on to bad man there. Can Agate get that knock? I doubt these teams are gonna push. There's only the citizens and uh vibe of fear. That usually push teams as soon as they get the knock. The rest of the teams are all focused on the end game. They want those final kills. They want the chicken dinner. They want to be on top of the match leaderboard. So 
zone almost closed. Dark Ninja still coming in. They've got a fairly open open side here on the northwestern side, so no one they can really run in and still, unless they come all the way here to the center of zone. And Ghost sold the last player. And look how nicely set up Ghost is here. Four gas tanks all by the door. He's ready for an ambush here. As soon as someone enters that doorway, he's going to get barbecued and blown back to Miramar. But he is all alone there. Up a six starting to make the rotation. They might just run right into the all gods. Let's have a look and see what are they going to do. Alright, so for this game, we're using the microphone as the in-game sound. And so we get the sound fixed for the next one. Like upper six have their eyes on the old guards there. Will they get that knock and go for the push? Yeah, nothing is happening. We'll just restart the phone and the capture card for the next game and see if that sorts it out. For now, you're going to have a fairly uh, not so good in-game sounds, but you, you got my sexy voice to listen to. So just focus on the voice, voice, I will take you through the game. Just bear with me for game one, we'll get it sorted for game two, three and four. Upper six making the rotations, there's our next zone, it went down south and moved away from the prison and looks like we got a top hill ghost actually read it beautifully, almost center zone there. And look at all these teams rotating past one another, everyone rushing to find the best spot currently inside the zone. Oh, and Josh, you see Smoke here running over me, does take down Josh. Beautifully done by Josh, taking out Smoke there, getting a quick confirm onto after six. Okay, I have actually, uh, yeah, it's a Red Magic 6X, so it's not an uh, iPhone, it is an Android. Um, I have done that, I have restarted a capture card itself, and the only thing that's remaining is uh, at this moment the capture card is working 100%. It's the phone that's not switching the audio from the output speaker to the capture card and giving it to the stream. So I think I'll just restart the Red Magic uh, after this game. And that should maybe sort it out. It was working perfectly uh, just before we started the stream. I did a, a sound check and a recording and played it back. And it was working 100%. Uh, you know how it goes. It is hardware for you. Okay, Deji MVP. They lost one player. They did lose smoke. And they are angry. They got one confirmed there. Back onto the player. Gino's currently stuck here on the stairs with upper six just in front of him. Rest of the teams all pulling up here onto Ghost. Ghost is ready. Let's see how this gas is going to work for him. Can he barbecue a player back to Miramar? What is going to happen? This, this should be fairly interesting. Oh, they do crash him. Station 5 right on top of uh, Ghost here. But I think they actually spot him there. Has he? Oh, Station 5, seeing vibe there on top. And I think Station 5 has actually spotted Ghost sitting there in that corner. Yep, he definitely knows about him. He knows about him. Oh, look at his beautiful nade. 1000 IQ play from Station 5. 
And just like that, Citizens is wiped out the first team to get eliminated this match. Beautifully done there by foul play. Vibe taking that top hill. Beautifully done by Vibe. Contesting it and winning that top hill. That'll be the place to be this match. As the zone is starting to push them all closer and closer to one another. Dark Ninjas. Still Dark Boy stuck here. And he's got first offense right in front of him inside the blue zone. No pain. He's got nowhere to go. Oh, beautiful single tap there. He's trying to run, but he's got nowhere to go. Oh, and he almost got run over. Beautiful single taps here from uh, Dark Boy. And one more tap should be it. And look at that ninja just flying through no pain on top there. And he gets him down. In comes Dark Ninja's ninja now. Still got the rest of first Arctic there in the distance way in front of you. Still got Valley, MT77 and easy. All the rest of Dark Ninjas crashed them as well. They took out the most aggressive team and there's our next zone shift. Foul play and vibe both inside zone. O3 brothers and the unknown soldiers rushing to find a spot inside the zone. The Predators got a good little compound there at the bottom. On the southern side, Angel Demons taking that right hand compound just below the hill. Sector 7 and Fear have to fight their way in. 21st century and Sector 7 from the top side coming in there from the side on the eastern side. But the old guard still inside the blue zone. And man, how is this working out for you? Because I mean, this is now what, the fourth zone and it's it's, it's going to start hurting, man, okay? And O3 Brothers, they do lose one player. It's now down to no name, Schnitz and Magic TT. Angels and Demons now right there in front of O3 Brothers with the Predators. Schnitz found himself in a beautiful position inside this new zone. And it's now 21st century. That is right here on top of upper six. Ball play way off in a distance as well. But Vibe Gaming still looking pretty strong on the side there. First Arctic now coming in. Let's see, what does MT77 can do? Is he going to get spotted here by Team Vibe as soon as he goes up that hill? Vibe Jesus Supremo. Oh, Boji's right there in front of him. Oh, they do see the smoke. Just not dead. Down goes Sector 7. Slim Cab does get knocked down. Oh, Sector 7 loses two. It's down to no name. The last player currently left. And he still needs to get into zone. And the Dark Ninjas get knocked in as well. Prof gets confirmed. Slim Cab gets confirmed. Dark Ninjas right here in front of no name. It is Tress and Dark Boy. Will they spot him though? Oh, bro, he is so low, but beautifully done by No Name. Oh, he gets it. No Name gets it down. He gets down straight. It's Dark Boy, the last one left. Oh, and this zone is going to hurt. It's all down to Dark Boy. Can he get a revive in? Oh, beautiful Molly there from uh, Dark Boy before he gets a revive in. And Sector 7, No Name, he's going to get barbecued. And they can get a revive in and get into zone. Beautifully done. Upper 6. Still alive, still three man team. All God's Bunda gets knocked and firsted. Oh, down goes another one. And another one is <laughs> I can't I can't get up. I can't keep up. <laughs> Fear picking up three kills there. They have one knocked. They can quickly get it revive in. The Predators Roy is slowly bleeding out here inside the blue as well. And the Predators now focusing on the O3 brothers here. There is Kevoids versus Magic and No Name. Stress gets confirmed there from the play zone. Oh, fear. Takes easy, takes out. Oh, beautiful sniping shot there from uh, getting down Schnitz. And here comes Team Vibe from the top side. Are oh, they going to push on in? They are going to push on to the O3 brothers. They need that compound. They want to get into zone. Jesus already crashing it. In comes Boji. And in comes those nades. Oh, well, this nade. oh, beautiful nade there. Gets two confirmed with one nade. Oh, Magic TT is one HP. He's still alive. And just like that. Oh, Jesus. Mike, he's going to get barbecued by his own teammate. They 
we'll get it revive in and vibe stole a full man team foul play stole a full man team on top needs to push on in angels and demons contesting the compound here keeping sector seven and fear out of it and the predators getting two knocks it's all down to no evil the last player left for no gaming can he go for the revives you got 10 seconds left i do not know if you can get a revives in and go for zone at the same space but the predators got a beautiful compound uh, oh they're out of zone look at this next zone shift towards the eastern side on top here and now it is foul play that can focus on upper six here as deji runs right into 21st century and right behind him he does have foul here neo gets knocked and confirmed as well and he comes here now Fiero not getting those hits on in first optics on the side still need to fight their way in as well in comes mt77 full sending it right past these teams oh my gosh look at this driving skill from mt77 oh but just like that he drops right in front of fierce red yt and down goes another one it is all down to easy easy the last player left Oh, and there we go, the full first Arctic team, they all get wiped out, and now foul play, right on top here, outside of zone, currently angels and demons looking very good here inside the zone. Angels and Demons, they can gatekeep a lot of people here. But he's, he's got no idea, no gaming. Evil is right here behind him, just hugging the zone on the side. And Evil can get a lot of uh, placement points for his team. Vibe Gaming getting ready to move into that next zone. It's going to be very, very difficult. Let's see how they're going to do this one. They've got Angels and Demons right here in front of them. They are right on the edge of zone. Can they get in actually? the angels and demons just gatekeeping everyone oh down goes deals these beautiful shots there from genos and it's the unknown soldiers that actually gets him down see batman has supremo in his sights they're also not in zone but they're looking to pick up a quick kill before the zone eats them alive Foul play dream still there on top. He needs to run on in. Then he comes with his vehicle right into Batman and right past him. Man, these driving skills from these teams just very, very OP. Oh, Dream gets spotted. They're almost taking down a gutsy. Red Hot does get knocked. In comes uh, Lone Wolf and Station 5. Now getting down a gutsy. They confirm that kill as well. Here comes Genos from the side. Genos gets another knock. Down goes Genos. And it's all down to Lone Wolf. Can Lone Wolf actually get a revive on in? Playzone taking out the rest and Fear just taking out the rest of them. No, Lone Wolf is still alive. Oh, they got the smallest of cover here. Right in front of them. But in comes Team Vibe. Team Vibe. They do have... Uh, no, down goes Red on as well. And they're back to a full team. Angels and Demons now out of sight of zone. Beautiful Red there. Vibe, Vibe Gaming just taking the stop on side. And they're getting sprayed here from Angels and Demons from all directions. Taking down fields yet again. Is it going to be, will it be fear, will it be Angels and Demons or can Vibe take the first chicken dinner? Vibe back to a full team. They managed to get all the revives in. Four teams remaining. No game of evil. He's still holding on on site there. He's getting a lot of placement points for his team. Oh, beautiful tap there from Boji. They do have Jesus knocked as well. Vibe Gaming has a very limited cover here. And they all need to push on it. Oh, beautiful shots there from uh, Ajiro from Angels and Demons. Getting down another one from Kia. And now it's down to Swag's YT, the last player left. And here comes the zone. Zone is going to push them all, all in. Now gaming slowly creeping his way on in. Evil triple six. Oh, they get two knocks there on to Vibe as well. Vibe is now all in the open. Supremo goes down. All down to Boji. 
and Boji all goes down. And it's all angels and demons at the moment. Fear gets out as well. It's down to the last three teams. Fear, no gaming, and angels and demons. Swax YT doing a heal of the no gaming evil. Triple six. Oh, down goes Swags YT. Gets spotted. Gets confirmed as well. It's only evil that is left. Oh, those nades doing a lot of damage onto evil. And that nade will do it. That is it. Angels and Demons, they take game one of the Nigerian Pro League quarterfinals. And they do so with 10 kills in total. No gaming there in second place with 3 kills. And in third place, we got two here with 9 kills. Well, that is it for our first game. Do apologize for the sound. They did work. They didn't work when we started the stream. Life happens. We'll see if we can get that sorted for you guys for game two. So stick with us. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Leave a like and subscribe. Go mad in the chat. Show, show the community what violence actually means. Uh, we'll be right back. I'll see you just now. You do. The moment that you walked into my life, I started to forget to talk for you.
like I got it sorted okay now wood game is frozen okay what is what is what is gonna be next what's gonna be next okay we okay I think we got it all sorted now we restarted it all restarted the phone looks like everything is working so let's hope for the best but beautifully done by angels and demons getting that first chicken dinner we still got three more games coming up and next one gonna be Miramar 
I uh, hope we're going to see a lot more violent citizens uh, disappointing there in the first game, dominating all four matches yesterday and being the first team to get fully eliminated in game one. So let's jump into game two and see if they're going to come back with a bang. And there we go. Okay, it looks like it's working. That's uh, just for good old measure. Let's, uh, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. And then, then we know. Okay. Yeah, everything looks like it's working properly. Okay. So that is our flight path. Beautiful north to southwestern side flight path right over Valle de Mar. It's not what we want to hear. I'm getting a very weird feedback here from uh, the game sound. Not sure if you guys are hearing the same, but in case you are, let's 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 do this. Let's do this. Just for in case. We want, we want all the action to come in properly this time. Okay, so all the teams starting to jump on out. Looks like they're all gonna go their normal route so far. Still getting weird. Weird feedback coming through here from the capture card. Okay, let's see if we switch to someone on the ground quickly. Yeah, it looks like that is working according to what I see on the stream, but I'm not hearing what you guys are hearing. If someone could just let me know in the chat. Is the sound now working? Is it good? Can you hear this guy running? That is one on one or no. Okay, let's look at the rest of the teams. There's our zone, beautiful northwestern zone over El Pozo. And uh, we do have two teams right here 21st century versus Vibe Gaming. Uh, always gives for a good fight so everyone watching on the stream let me know can you hear the game sound can you hear those shots i cannot i don't know what's going on it's not actually giving me the feedback that i'm supposed to get let's quickly see what is default here on playback yeah that is all set up perfectly that's working 100 percent as it should Nothing changed. Currently, yeah, that is all set up. That is working perfectly. Set right. Can you hear this guy running? Let's see, 21st century, still looting, still looking for that open knock. I think we got it now. I can actually hear the guy running. Can you hear him now too? It seems to work. Okay, so lesson learned. If something doesn't work, just restart it a thousand times until whatever was broken starts working again. Some unknown reason. I mean, nothing changed. Timmy, I don't know what is he offline? What is he glitching against the wall? Timmy, what are you doing? Timmy just being weird here. And there goes the sound again. Oh, this is beautiful. Gotta love uh, hardware, don't you guys? 
Okay, let's uh, do this again. Okay, again we got... Okay, so we got this working. It is picking up sound through the device towards the capture card. So let's quickly switch it again to something else. And we reselect the capture card. Now again, it's giving... I'm just going to leave it be. It's working now, so I'm going to leave it as is. Okay, 21st century versus Vibe Gaming. Let's have a look here. Boji slowly snaking his way towards Agati here right in front of him. But is Agati actually going to spot him? Or is Boji going to spot Agati? He's slowly creeping up. He does have backup. It's Ayo and Boji versus Agati. Angels and Demons, Angelo. Knocking one from no gaming. Now, Angels and Demons actually won. Oh, down goes uh, 007. Gets knocked and confirmed on top here. No gaming. Losing two players, Bibs and 007. Is now all down to Evil 666. As well as Emperor. And Emperor is right in front of Angelo and Power. Oh, he's missing his shots. They know exactly where he is now. Now Power and Angelo, they can work together as a duo and take out Emperor. Oh, does Morley look super good. He's on fire. Oh, gets the first knock. Beautifully done from Emperor. And he manages to avoid the second contact here from Power. Oh, and actually burns down Angelo. No gaming, picking up a kill. And that's now Emperor versus Power. Who's gonna get it? Power and Angelo. Like I see you through the wall. <laughs> nice little sneaky free fire day. Still not getting him. Oh, what a beautiful reaction here from Emperor. Man, that was a quick reaction. Getting him down, and now it's all down to Ajiro, the last remaining player for Angels and Demons. And it looks like angels and demons. That sound is back, but it's delayed on my end. Since McKay, okay, well, um, I'm seeing us now. You're gonna hear me speaking about it five minutes later. Uh, <laughs> let me know five minutes from that message if if you uh, still hear the same. Anyway, looking at how the rest of the teams are starting to rotate in. Team Fear, Sector 7, and the Dark Ninjas. Way up northeast. Very long way to rotate in. O3 Brothers, Old Guards, the Predators, Dream Team, all have to rotate in as well. And looks like Team Vibe, they won that engagement, they won the compound, didn't get any kills. But 21st Century started to rotate away from there, still a full team as well. Okay, First Arctic's trying to get up this mountain, there is currently no pain, the only player from First Arctic that's on this mountain, all the rest of his team is still way off in the distance, and he is trying to get on top there boys, can he do so, oh, oh he's gonna fall to his death, oh and he does indeed, 21st century blowing up his vehicle, oh how, Imagine that vehicle landing on top of him. And it almost rolled right over him. See the rest of First Arctic's fall way away from him. In comes Easy. Can Easy get to him in time? Can they get a revive in? Oh, 
Easy, easy, easy. Careful with that coop. Looks like he will be able to pull on to no pain. Get it reviving. 21st century haven't yeah, looks like they haven't decided to actually push on in. They're staying at that compound. Or they might just get pushed here by the foul play teams rotating right here into them. Right next to them as they're getting sprayed from 21st century. And they're getting around at Mount and they're rather gonna go there. So next zone is about to close. All the teams are starting to rotate in. And look at the Dark Ninjas, man. They just love this blue zone. They got a very long way to go. They only got two first aids. And Ninja still running around here. Five first aids, two bandages. They're still looting in the blue here. One first aid. Yeah, it's not looking very good for the Dark Ninjas so far out of zone. With such limited amount of mates. Sector 7 as well here. Yeah. Starting to rotate into zone, but man, they are inside this blue. And it might just call, cause them trouble. Fear already pushing into the new zone. They got angels and demons right in front of them, but a beautiful spotting there from Outcast. Sees them, turns around, gets away from there, and they look for a different way into the zone. And tells his team as well. Angels and demons. Ujiro, the last player left for angels and demons. Just taking this edge of the zone. Upper six, still a full team left. Got a beautiful high ground here, scouting it out there. You see already their GMVP, their scouts, their IGL. Just making sure the compounds next to them are safe. Where are they gonna go? See a foul play. Taking this top hillside, the unknown soldiers right here next to them. Uh, no, bad man decides to leave that, that is not a good space, not a good place. And there we go, here's our next engagement, Sector 7, right here onto Ajiro, the last player for Angels and Demons, and he gets out of there. And Fear also not too far away from them though. Looting this building right on top of them. No worries in the world. Fifty seconds to get into that next zone. Foul play almost taking center zone here. Got a very big compound to defend. Looks like no gaming. They're actually gonna they're right next to a, an airdrop. That has been looted already. Let's see this airdrop. Still has a Graza in it. No one close to it. No one going for that Graza. Let's have a look on the O3 brothers. O3 brothers focusing on to Vibe Gaming. is still delayed about 15 to 20 seconds delay okay let's see see if that sorts it out OG right in front of snitch takes the shot there oh foul play getting knocked there are oh, they getting pushed right on in let's have a look onto foul play they got two knocked it's all down to dream dream versus the unknown soldiers it's dream versus bad man Who's gonna get that knock? Who's gonna get the confirm? Oh, beautifully done there by Dream. Gets the knock. And Senior Boy now versus Dream. And in comes Josh as well. Oh, nice little pre nade there around the corner. And he has to push on in. Now it's Josh versus Senior Boy. Oh, he gets down Senior Boy as well. Beautifully done by Dream. And he's gonna confirm him real quick. But it is Josh. It will come around the corner and get him down. They lose one player, but they pick up four kills. Well done, well played. Sector 7, losing Prof there. And it's none other than Ajiro picking up another kill for his team. Three kills for Angels and Demons. And the zone is about to close. 
Where's the zone gonna go? Will it go up north? Will it come down to El Paso's side? I think it is gonna be right here across the crater fields. Let's have a look and see where the zone will end. Dream Team still going strong. Still Archer Storm and Lucid Stark. Zero kill so far. Only a three man team. setup again after this match and see if we can get rid of that 10 second delay but at least we got sound this game so i'm happy there's, a, there's at least some improvement to and there we go there's our next zone shift closer towards the crater fields and el paso and i think it's right here is going to be the final zone right around here where the 03 brothers currently is up at six there making the crater fields right inside no gaming coming up north of citizens coming in there as well now citizens find themselves right here on the edge I mean, even yesterday, the Miramar game was very, very slow for citizens compared to the Wrangle matches. I wonder if they're going to step it up in this Miramar game. Can they get their chicken dinner? What are they going to do? Upper six. Taking a very good uh, see, uh, situated almost center zone there. Fear might run right into 21st century here. Yeah? Let's have a look and see. 21st century is just holding that compound right on top there and I think they have got him spotted have they spotted him I wonder looks like they're not pushing on in the old guard still needs to get in dream team as well dream team the rest of the two of from dream team is in and here comes a uh, fear currently man and fear is all outside of zone but look at where the rest of fear is compared to where <laughs> oh my gosh fear what are you guys doing no gaming coming up there sector seven no name down to no name nobody and slim cat right no gaming emperor taking down no name drives right into him now down to nobody and slim cat and again they're all very split up there look at dark ninja still coming on in Dark Ninja's finally making the way into zone. And Fear can now focus on the foul play team rotating right here in front of them. Or the old guards. As Lala gives away his position. And in comes the old guards now. It's Lala, Priest, and Bunda. Ooh, Outcast gets spotted here from behind. Almost gets knocked. That's Structure and Outcast versus Bunda and Priest. Some beautiful nades flying in here. Ninja and Lala just overwatching. Well, Neo, Structure and Outcast. They've got 21st Century on their back. They've got the old guards here in front of them. And in comes Lala now as well. Let's see, where's Lala gonna go? It's a 3v3 at the moment. Oh, Lala pulling up right in front of uh, Cha Cha. Trying to bait him out of the vehicle. Can Lala run over one of the players there? And in comes Bunda from the side. Down goes Bunda, but down goes Neo as well. And here comes Lala. Who's gonna get that knock? Can Lala actually get it? Cha Cha solo knock. Gets down Cha Cha. Priest. And it's now oh, oh, Outcast. Outcast, the last remaining player for fear that is left. And Outcast is so low. I think the old gods might just take our team fear right here. They do have two knocked in comes Swags YT now. Swags YT way up there from the side. Barely gets into zone. Down goes Outcast as well. And Ninja and Lala. See, can Swags YT. Oh, he has to heal up first. Are just not getting an angle there. They will get that revive onto all of them. Oh, look at this nade. Will that nade even reach that far? Now it's too, too, way too uh, far for Swags YT to get that nade. In. They're just smoking.
fucking all over. Oh god, picked up three kills right there. Oh, Swax, why did he get spotted? And he's out of there. He's gonna go for more placement. Upper six now in the engagement. Upper six was up here. Let's have a look and see. Currently, Deji MVP not. And it is. Timmy can Timmy get that revive in citizens right on top of them. And in comes Tadia now. Come smoke as well. Search on that other side. The deer and Malala. Oh, that nade almost uh, getting him down yet again. Doing a little bit of damage. Oh, smoke gets knocked there as he goes across. Beautiful cover fire here from the O3 drivers. Coming in for the third party. They are just amazing. Oh, Timmy is so low. Who's gonna get it next knock? Oh my gosh, Kumalala with that nade onto Temi. And that's now a 2v2. It's only Deji currently left here for uh, upper six. Sur surge is a little bit away. Can still pull on in. Citizens are putting onto the O3 brothers there on top as well. They're having a beautiful 11, does get knocked. Oh, Deji gets knocked as well. Now it's all down to Surge. Surge, the player there for upper six. In comes that nade. Oh, beautiful nade does a lot of damage there onto Tadia. Making sure they cannot push. He can get smoke back on up. Levin will bleed out. Hopefully Brothers and Vibe there on top. 21st century way off in the distance. Who's going to win this fight? Will it be Tadia and Kumalala? Or will it be Surge and Smoke? Made way off, no gaming pull up, pulling up here behind them. Dark Ninjas also on the outside, focusing on to sector seven. And there's no way they're gonna get that made that far. Levin still slowly bleeding out on top here, all down to Kumalala and Tadia. And the Predators now pushing on in here. Predators versus the Dark Ninjas. Trace Viper and Dark Boy versus Roy and Chad. Nobody way off the inside. Don't really have an eye on his teammates. And in comes uh, steroids here from behind. Them just on the outside of the wall. Dark Boy and Viper made it up on top. It's only stress currently in this building. Oh, they get down Roy. Beautifully done. In comes Dark Boy now. Dark Boy wants to go for the push. No pain taking down Schnitz. Oh, down goes Dark Boy. Beautifully done there. All down to Chad. Chad takes down Viper with a vehicle explosion. Beautifully done. And now it's Stress versus Chad. Can Chad get a heal up? Can he get a heal in? It's Chad versus Stress. He's gonna get that confirmed. Down goes Chad! As he goes for that confirm, and the zone will kill the rest of them. Slim Cat loses targets, knocked. It's all down to Archer. Archer, the last one left. He's got that one in He gets down the one. And they still get his kill. Archer gets spotted here from the side. Almost going down to the Predators. Oh, and he's getting tapped there from on top from the open covers as well. None of his teams currently inside of zone. Just look at it. Angels and demons find themselves into the final zone yet again. 
And I told you it's gonna end right here. I know my maps, man. I'm the Zone Whisperer. A Jiro, the last remaining player. Got O3 brothers in front of him. No gaming coming in here from behind him. Citizens and Upper Six still going out of there. Still not getting that complete wipe. And Archer still holding on for dear life. They do have one kill on the board. He needs to get into that zone. The Predators just, just on the edge of the zone. Watching Archer there. Can Archer get on in? Oh, those nades just not reaching him. But here comes the zone. And Archer only has one first aid. Oh, gets out of the And Insane takes him down. Insane gameplay from Insane. Now the Predators can focus on the rest of the teams all making their way into zone. Coco from O3 Brothers did get knocked. He is going to bleed out to zone. And so he does. Now Bushness and No Name. Pulling on onto Citizens. Oh, getting hit here from the side. Almost going down to Citizens. And Schnitz is still going at it. They're right in front of Team Citizens here. The deer. Oh, they're inside the smoke. In comes steroids from the side. Who's gonna get that knock? Oh, what a beautiful nade from No Name. Gets down to deer. Almost takes down Kumakela. Oh, that nade is good. That nade surely is good. Oh, that Molly burning one and Surge taking down the last four citizens and down goes Surge to no name as well. Sector 7, Slim Cat is holding the edge there, no gaming outside of zone. Citizen, or oh, Predator is currently inside of zone yet. Well, only steroids, insane, still outside of zone. See here, steroids slowly snaking his way here on top. Almost beautiful center zone as the Ofri brothers are focusing on no gaming. Slimcat's nade there on top. Oh, what a beautiful nade there from Slimcat. Getting down Emperor. And it's all down to evil triple six. Will he be able to get that revive in? In comes Slimcat with a molly. Just not on spot there. He does have two kills for his team. And in goes Slimcat now with his vehicle. Can he get into zone? He's got... Steroids right there in front of him. He's gonna stop right on top of steroids. Oh, and he does indeed. Oh, and he spins out of his buggy. Oh, down goes Slim Cad and steroids and insane. They have zone. It's the O3 brothers versus the Predators. 2v2. Two, two teams remaining. One chicken dinner up for grabs. Who's it gonna be? Jeanette Slow. Can no name clutch it. No name, very, very accurate with his uh, thrower bolts. Now, how many he has left? Schnitt starting to smoke his way forward. Oh, there's an AWM in that drop. Oh, you see what I mean with his nades? Take that fresh level 3 helmet. You definitely need it, no name. Now, steroids and insane. Both just holding this edge of the zone. And Snitch just creating a smoke wall there between these two. As well as no name in comes Schnitz. Snitch trying to... He's trying to be invisible. Oh, that nade looks good. And I think Insane heard him though. Yep, he definitely does. Oh, oh uh, no name and steroids just tagging one another there. Snitch and insane holding. Oh, down goes steroids. It's a 2v1. It's 3 no name and snitch. And there we go. No name to clutch it as always. And 3 brothers, they take game two with six. Oh my gosh. 16 kills. No name on 10. No name. What happened? No name? How even? I don't even see you kill one player and you end off with what?
Did somebody stop him? But chat, just just spam, spam guys, spam, spam, no name, as, as much as you can. He deserves MVP for this match. 10 kills in total. Beautifully done, no name. The Predators ending it in second place there with 7 kills. And Sector 7 in third place with 2 kills. But man, the O3 brothers on 16 kills in game 2 on Miramar. They dominated Miramar. It was basically 14 teams versus the O3 brothers. That, that's what it was. O3 brothers just took out of everyone. Especially No Name. He, didn't, he just went mental. Beautifully done. Uh, no Name there with that amount of kills. We'll be right back for game 3. See you guys now.
Third game, second last game for tonight, and we just witnessed no name from the O3 brothers hit a 10 kill streak. Can he do it again? The next match is a Zanok match, so it's gonna be a lot of snakes, a lot of grass, a lot of camping, a lot of rocks. There's a lot, a lot from a lot from all the lot of teams. A lot's gonna happen. It's a lot of violence. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, so we're gonna have we're gonna jump right into a Zanok match and see. Who's going to take the third game for tonight in the Nigerian Pro League quarterfinals? Oh, beautiful flight path there from the east-western side. All the way down right over or uh, between Ruins and Camp Alpha. And all the teams are out of the plane. See, we have a hard drop. Team Vibe will go the normal spot. 
as always looks like citizens the only team inside of boot camp so vibe taking paradise citizens taking uh, boot camp the rest of the teams all floating down south dark ninjas in 21st century right on next to one another day looks like we got the upper six and over covers going towards by none the predators taking sami unknown soldiers on tambang First Arctic's on Ruins, Sector 7, right there in the small compounds below Camp Alpha. Dream Team all split up there on the northern side as well, with no gaming there. Power Play taking Kahu. And we got the All Guards also split up, with Angels and Demons taking Camp Bravo. Upper 6 still floating over. Looks like the 03 Brothers landed on Pine 9, with Upper 6 going towards Camp Charlie side. And there is our zone for this match. And it's quite a big one. Most of the teams already own it. And Fear is right here with Citizens inside uh, boot camp. Alright, so looks like we're going to have a boot camp king. Will it be the Citizens or will Fear be the boot camp kings? Try to try an outcast there. Swags YT and Neo all on the outer edges. Eleven Ghost and Tadia inside main with Kumalala on that eastern side. So chat, what do you guys think? Who's gonna be? Can no name be MVP two times in a row? Will we see a new player stand out in this game? And most importantly, who do you think? Who's gonna take game three of the Nigerian Pro League quarterfinals? Yo, coming in here with a grenade, just wrong window as he's starting to push on in. That is what we like to see. Very aggressive gameplay. We like to see aggressiveness, we like the violence. Evan is right here in front of Neo. Who's gonna get the open knock? Kumalala, rotating. Oh, Neo almost gets spotted there by Levin, taking a lot of damage. Just not going down. Who's gonna get that first knock? Rest of the teams all slowly. Oh, looks like unknown soldiers might just run right into first Arctic here inside the ruins. We'll switch to them as soon as uh, as we see who the boot camp kings is gonna be. Come on, PUBG, render in. There we go. Thank you very much. Near right here on top of them. Stall. Heaven and Ghost, Kumalala, and Tadia. Swags YT taking some shots there on two. Ghost and Kamalala. Oh, Neo does go down. And that is it. Fear is the first player to get knocked. And it gets confirmed as well. And Fear lose one player. Citizen still a full team. Outdoor still holding that warehouse. Oh, Swags YT taking a one bullet there to the body. Nothing too serious. In comes Tadia. It's Tadia versus YT. Can Swags, Swags clutch it against Tadia. Tadia 4L. Oh, Tri Tri gets spotted. Takes a little bit of damage. Oh, beautiful shot there from Tadia. Oh my gosh, Tadia just OP with that single taps. Getting down Tri Tri. And now Swags YT. He has a very difficult position. As Tadia and Kumalala is both pushing in into him. Outcast, the last remaining player for Tadia inside that warehouse. And it looks like Outcast using that outer skirts of boot camp in an open field. Can he get to Cha Cha in time? Or oh, Swags YT almost getting naded here by Tadia. And uh, Swags YT, he's just being as quiet as he can. Outcast. Going for that revive. And it is Swags YT that will get out to the end. Knocked and firsted. And now it's Ghost and Kumalala. Right here, 11. It's going to be a 3v3 back again. Beautifully done by Swags YT. Just holding that position for his teammate to get it revive in. Gets one down. Knocked and firsted. See you next game. Thank you so, so much for landing boot camp. Right, can they clutch it still? Can fear take out the citizens? Can citizens come back with a bang here? 
That's why right, he's still holding that position. Chatra back up. Chatra an outcast. Best of the team still holding on. Foul play. Might run right into no gaming here. Oh, and no gaming knows exactly where foul play is. They're just waiting for them. They still have quite a decent zone there. And the unknown soldier starting to push on in onto the first Arctic here. It's empty easy. Just holding that entrance. And Genos. In comes Genos now. Badman starting to nade on him. In comes Badman. Genos goes down. Three man team up for unknown soldiers. Still easy. Valley empty 77 and no pain. Oh, Valley almost getting knocked here by Nade. See who's gonna get that second knock. They did lose one player. Down goes the old guards, Chef. And down goes Evil. And Chief does get confirmed. And Batman made his way into. See who's gonna get that knock. Will it be? Oh, that nade was almost beautiful onto Batman. They do take down Valley easy with a beautiful nade, getting the knock onto Valley. And easy will that get that revive in as quickly as he can. MT77 around that corner. Oh, down goes easy as well. It's all down to MT77. No way getting down. And just like that, MT-77 to get the last one in and they can get it revive in. Four kills for them on the kill free kill board. No gaming evil, triple six getting knocked as well. All down to Emperor, the last player left for no gaming. As the old guards come here from the side to take them out, picking up one kill. And citizens down to Ghost, the last player left. And it looks like Team Fear, it's Swags YT that picked up three kills there for his team. And it's only Ghost that's left standing inside of bootcamp. Citizens not having the best of matches tonight. And it looks like Ghost is rather going to go for some placement points. Managed to avoid a full team wipe there from Team Fear. And let's see where's the zone gonna shift to. First zone shift, upper sixth predators, 21st century. First Arctics and Dream Team all still need to get into the first zone. And there we go, not a huge shift. Majority of the teams already inside of zone. It's the old guards right here on top of Team Vibe. Will Priest get spotted here? Priest is right in front of uh, Jesus. As Boji comes in from the side as well. Marks one of them. Oh, look, 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 it's Ninja gets spotted there as well. Ninja's gonna run right into Jesus as well as Priest. I think they've got no idea that Vibe is just watching them. So they marked them all. Oh, Priest gets spotted there. And in comes Bunda now. Can Bunda get it revive in? Ninja running back as well. Oh, he gets spotted. In comes the red board. Picks up two kills for Team Vibe. And it's all Bunda, the last player for the old guards. Old guards just got sideswiped here by Team Vibe. Can Bunda get down Boji and Jesus? He's just laying prone. 
Laying and praying, as they would say. Hoping they don't get spotted. But oh, Jesus running right here in front of him. In comes Supremo now as well. Oh, and Boondog does take down Jesus. And Jesus does get confirmed by foul play from the bottom there. Is still holding on to that mock down there. I picked up three kills at least. Not bad. Old cards picked up one. They'd lose three players in the process. And currently, the only teams that got eliminated is Unknown Soldiers. Has been completely eliminated. No gaming lost three players. Citizens lost three players. The old guards lost three players, Fear lost one player, Vibe lost one player. That is all that has currently been eliminated. First Arctic rotating right next to Sector 7, just on the outside of zone. The zone now pushing on in. Three brothers, still a full team, center center zone. I want to see No Name get as much kills as he did in the Miramar game again. This time we're going to follow him around, see all 10 if he does get 10 this game. Zone about to close. Where's this next zone going to be? Do you have team vibe just outside of bootcamp there? Oh, Paradise, my bad, Paradise. And here comes the zone shift, upper six gonna run right into 21st century. And beautifully read by the O3 brothers, almost all center zone there. Play zone knocking the Predators, Roy. Dark Ninjas got a good compound inside of zone with Team Vibe on the edge there and Angels and Demons. 21st century moving just to the edge down there. With upper six right here behind them. The rest of the players. Oh, oh, Bunda is still waiting. Still just laying prone there. Getting as much placement points as he possibly can. He needs to get into zone. As well as no gaming. He's got the Dream Team right there next to him. Dream Team. Oh, they got a full team this time. Storm, Rage, Archer and Deuce and Stark. It's confirmed there. And looks like the Predators, they're going to take a boat to get into zone. They did lose Roy. And they're doing... Okay, well, that works. I would have used the outside edge, but okay, that works. 21st century. Pharaoh still alive there with 26 first aids. So it looks like Pharaoh, he's definitely going for a heal off. He's just hunting for first aids. 27 first aids. I got Viper here. I probably has seen uh, upper six. But he does have uh, 21st century right there next to him as well. Or just holding that compound. Just on the blow. Oh, over the brothers get spotted. They have one knock. Oh, and Deji gets knocked in the process as well, as he runs right into 21st century. And in comes Viper from the side. 21st dad, Daddy getting knocked as well. O3 brother, only one knocked, currently Shark. We'll get back up, they're focusing on Team 5. Angel is as well. Oh, getting some beautiful hits there. Hunter taking from foul play. Ball play losing dream down to station four, station five, and Lone Wolf. In comes Lone Wolf here from the side now. Got angels and demons right there in front of him. Dream team just shooting past him as well. There we go, finally getting some 
taps in there from Lone Wolf. Archer does get sprayed out. Hunter on top there. Station 5 gets spotted and knocked. He has someone there to revive him. And Power just laying prone here right in front of Lone Wolf. Hunter almost gets knocked down out there. Angelo right in front of him. In comes Power. Power and Angelo. Power goes down. Oh, he gets confirmed as well. It's now all down to Lone Wolf. He gets one down. Oh, Angelo is so low, but in comes Station 4 and Station 5. Now Angelo gets knocked down. They will pick up Lone Wolf. And in comes Hunter. Quickly dropping down. In comes the Molly. Will that Molly be good? It definitely looks good. Almost on top of Station 5. Barely missing it. So, so many trees. Oh, to get a nice angle. There we go. Surely they must have spotted him by now. Nate starting to fly on in all over. Station 5 going for a flank here. Archer slowly bleeding out. Archer will get condemned. There we go. Archer is out. Now Hunter just waiting here. He knows about Station 5 on his left side. Just marking it out for his teammate. Comes in from the side. Gets down Station 5. Gonna knock in first one of them. And now it's a 2v2 again. Lone Wolf goes down to Hunter. Let's quickly do this so that we do not hear you guys. All down to station four. Oh, and there, there we go. There's our next zone shift. Beautifully red. O3 brothers inside of zone there. Sector seven getting a knock onto Team Fear. And that's now down to Tratra and Outlaw. In comes Upper Six from behind as well as Prof. No name. Or insane and no name. All focusing on to Team Fear. Okay, MVP gets knocked and first today by Insane. And the Predators pick up one kill so far. And the old prof has outcast in his scopes. Is he gonna get the knock though? Oh, beautiful cover fire there from uh, Tatra. Outcast getting Tatra back up. And Team Fiat, they picked up three kills, but they lost two players. Swags YT and Neo both gone down. I need to get into this next zone. Sector 7 on one spot. Citizens Ghost in another. Team Vibe still alive. And I definitely know where Ghost is. In comes those nades. It's now all down to Ghost. Can he get some placement points for Sector for Citizens? comes the smokes. Looks like Team Vibe pushing on in. Here comes Boji. Oh, beautiful net. It's going to do a, lot, a little bit of damage there onto Ghost. That next nade. Oh, doing a few, little bit of damage there. And they take out Citizens. Citizens, the next team to get fully eliminated. 21st century. Still pulling on in. But they do have uh, Sector 7 here right behind them. They've got a long way to get into zone while Daddy and the Gatti is already making their way into zone. First Arctics, Valley, they did lose easy. 8 kills in total for First Arctics. Not a bad game for them at all. But they do have uh, Dark Boy here right in front of them. Dark Boy and Ninja. The last two remaining players for Dark Ninjas. Ninja beautifully done. They took out Dark Boy and down he goes. Ninja taking out another one. And in comes MT7 or oh, it's Valley. It's Valley. Valley takes down Ninja. Down goes the Dark Ninjas. Oh, three brothers. Still a full team alive. Only one kill on the board. Looks like Shark is going to focus on foul play, Angels and Demons, and First Arctics. While Team Vibe Supremo gets knocked in the blue. He's going to bleed out. Down to Fieldsy and Boji. Cat bleeding out there on the side as well. 
vibe just on the edge of the zone. 21st century, Daddy got knocked on top there as well. Seven teams remaining. Can team vibe hold on to this compound? They are on the edge here. They do have Slim Cad slowly snaking his way in. Oh, that nade from Fieldsy. Beautiful nade taking out Sector 7 completely. And the 03 brothers, they need to push on in. Ajiro just running here right below them. Ajiro gets into zone. First Artix just on that top side as well. And in comes the O3 brothers now. O3 brothers need to get into zone. Shark, no name, and Choco taking one side. Schnitz gonna go for team vibe. Fieldsy and Boji get down Schnitz. He's got beautiful cover fire there from his teammates. <laughs> but it is Hunter that will take down Schnitz. And Hunter gets spotted and confirmed. Now it's all down to a Jiro. Focusing on 21st century. It is all Agate. 21st century Agate, the last remaining player left for 21st century. And I still got Ferro as well. Ferro is still healing it off inside of outside the blue. He only got six first aids left. Angels and demons are Jiro. He's still alive. Still holding on. Down he goes to Choco. And the 03 brothers, they might just take game three here again. Three kills in total for them so far. Only got team vibe in front of him. Two players and Agati on their left hand side. So it's a 4v2v1. Three teams remaining. In they come. Agati taking some shots there from the left side. Making it difficult for them to push on in. Hilti got into zone. Oh, almost beautifully done here by Fieldsy. Taking down Choco. Team 5 has zone. Oh, here comes the nade. Beautiful nade. Down goes Schnitz. Fear playing this so good. It is all down to no name, and we know what no name. Oh, look at that nade from Agati. Gonna pick up Schnitz real quick. Shark is gonna pick up Choco. Yep, this will be an O3 Brothers game unless Agati can squad wipe the O3 Brothers right here. Beautifully red and done there by the O3 Brothers. Oh, they see him from the side, and Agati gets taken out. And they win a back to back chicken dinners. This time only with five kills. Uh, no name, just, you know, he went mental on the Miramar game. So he decided, you know, for this game, I'm not going to kill anyone. I'm not even going to pick up a weapon. I'm just going to carry my teammates as meds and ammo and let them get a few kills in. I think he felt bad taking 10 kills in game two. That's why he he didn't he didn't want to take any any kills here in game three. But beautifully done by the 03 brothers. In 21st century there in second place with three kills. And in third place, Team Vibe with seven kills in total well played guys well read there by the 03 brothers staying almost center zone the whole time having zone the entire time up until the third lot zone and playing it so good together as a team and getting that another chicken dinner can i get a hat trick can i get three in a row we'll have to see no name talk to you boys we want to see violence we don't want to see this you waiting and giving kills away for your teammates because you felt bad for game two now forget about that we're over it go show us what violence is in the last game we'll be right back for a final game for the nigerian pro league quarterfinals in a few <laughs>
Sing to your heart to find you Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the lies So you can see what you do Restless every time we start looking as a There we go guys, we're back with our final match for Nigerian Pro League quarterfinals. It's been fun, it's been amazing. Thank you so much guys for all the views, all the likes, all the comments. Thank you for giving me, getting me, um, keeping me busy on the stream with an amazing chat. I love the violence, there's violence on the chat, there's violence in the game. It has just been such a pleasure casting for you guys. But now, it is all up to these guys to bring us the violence in our last game of Irangle. So let's jump into it and see who's going to take our final match of Nigerian Pro League quarterfinals. And there we go, center flight path, north to south, right over the military base. The teams are going to be happy about this. I hope to see a lot of violence in this final game. I'm pretty sure all the top dogs, they know exactly who's qualified, who is not. So make them bring them violence. No Sabi, I just want to see violence in this last game. That's all, that's what, what, why we are all watching, that's why we are here. So let's see who is going where. As usual, we're seeing first Arctic's there going to the Starbuck, Kameshki side, Angels and Demons going to go straight down. Three brothers and unknown soldiers gonna take Georgia Pool and Georgia Pool crates. Upper six will go to Yasnaya. Vibe to school and apartments. Fear will take the small compounds next to Gatka. 
With no gaming going towards Pachinki, Dark Ninjas and Sector 7 will take Fairy Pier and Primal side. Citizens will go to Malta Power and the small compounds around them with the Predators on Malta. Dream Team will take Novo and 21st Century in the military base. Oh, but it looks like the old guards are actually gonna contest no gaming here in Pachinki. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. 4v4. There we go. We're just waiting for PUBG to get with us. There, there it is. There it is. Emperor Bibbs. Evil Triple Six. Where's, where's your last player? Oh, he is 007. All alone here in the corner. How you doing, 007? 007 on that side. Bunda Ninja Chief and Priest. Right there together in that center compounds. Just taking that entire center section. It looks like Evil Triple Six. He's just gonna give the info to his team. He's just gonna gatekeep them in front. Make sure they do not push, push. But if they do get that knock on first, that's gonna be dangerous for no gaming. See Emperor crossing the road. No gaming is very split up here at the moment. Very dangerous gameplay here. Let's see how's this gonna work out for him. <clears throat> Evil Triple Six now starting to fall back a little bit. Old Gods all together there as one squad. But it has its pros and cons. I mean, being so close to one another, if you, if you get a knock on one, you can quickly push, get the confirm, push the second guy, get the knock confirm, and go forth. But then again, if you're that close to one another and you or one of your, uh, you know, a good nade can knock potentially one or two from uh, the old gods. So it has its pros and cons. Then from no gaming side, from being an IGL myself, being in a competitive scene, casting for a while as well. I've seen this type of style from quite a few teams and it sometimes it works out good, especially when you get different angles so you can cover from different angles, get a few kills, make sure they do not push on in. But then, like I said, again, we have a full team playing together as one team. They can easily knock one of your teammates, push him, get to confirm, focus on the next one. So if you do not have eyes on your teammates, this makes it very difficult what No Gaming is doing. But let's see, how's this one going to work out for No Gaming and how's this one going to work out for the old gods? Who's going to get this squad wipe? The old guards are now starting to do a little bit of a 2 2 rotation there, and this is now where it might just work out, especially for 007 here on this side. If he spots Bunda and Priest, and potentially Chief, even then, he has Bibs on that side covering him, making sure they cannot push over. And you have 007 to confirm the knocks, so this can work out still. It's gonna be interesting. Who's it gonna get? Put on my jacket real quick. It is getting extremely cold here in South Africa. I definitely miss the weather over there in Lagos. It was nice and hot while I was over there. Well, here in South Africa, we do not have such nice weather at the moment. So you can see the Bundahan priest. They're all looting still. Emperor still here across. Ninja now currently all alone at the backside there. She's chief pushing on in with them as well. So who's it gonna be? The rest of the teams all fairly split up there. Except for Dark Ninjas, as I said it, Fia gets a knock on to Dark Ninjas. Ninja is down for Dark Ninjas as Neo pushes on in. Tratra will confirm Ninja here on the side. And now it is stress here on the side. It's now Tratra versus stress. Where's Nasri at? Nasri coming in here away from the side. Pushing back towards the team. It's got Neo and Outcast in front of him. 
be spotting you as he goes for the vehicle. Now it's re-rotating. Oh, it looks like Swags YT. Swags YT wants none of this. And the old guards gets the knock on to 007. Let's switch back to Pachinki here. And 007 does get knocked and firsted. And that is exactly what I meant. As you've seen there. So they flanked there. And it looks like 007 just gave his position away. He tried to rotate. Unaware of exactly where the teams were. And he got spotted and knocked and firsted. Oh, Neo taking down stress. And now it's all down to Nasri and Viper. Viper slowly making his way back to Nasri. And it looks like Nasri is just going to warm up with him. And they're going to focus on getting back towards a different compound. Go for a little bit of placement points. Emperor still holding this wall. See Priest and Bunda there taking that squad house there from behind. Webs and Evil. Ninja pulling up a little bit here. Looks like Ninja's on the hunt to probably give his teammate a little bit of information of where they are. Ooh, and they do have upper six just rotating here right past him. The surge just comes flying past them all. And Smoke and the rest of his teammates way from behind. Looks like they're all just focused on getting into zone. Sector 7 and Fear got a good position in zone already. Dark Ninjas barely touching the side. In comes the Predators, Citizens, 21st Century, Dream Team, First Artics, Foul Play. Everyone still needs to get on in. The O3 Brothers still way up north there in Georgia Pole North. So who's going to run into who here? Surge just taking this edge here. The Predators... Slowly pushing on in. Citizens, that's a very aggressive team. Hasn't had the best of three games so far. Still waiting to see a lot more from them in Faf, especially here in this final one. Here comes this drop as well. What is in the drop? Ooh, MK. Yeah, that is what you want. You definitely want that MK. See, will Jesus go for that a drop there? But that is a must have. No gaming, still focusing here onto the old gods. Chief right across the road with Priest. Ninja on that side. Here's a 4v3. Where, where, where did the last old guard guy go? Where's Bunda? Here he comes from this side. In comes the zone, they need to make a play, either make the push or go for zone. There's no vehicles, they're going to have to fight this one out, get the meds. No gaming hasn't really looted up just yet. All they had was this center compounds to loot. Well, the old guards basically just looted the whole of the rest of Pachinki. Bibs get spotted here by Bunda, just not going down. They need to make the push. They only got three first aids on Bunda. Ninja has three as well as, as well as Chief. Priest has two. Look here on to no gaming. How can they play this? You see, Bibs has absolutely no first aids. He's got five bandages. Emperor has three bandages. He's got absolutely no first aids. Evil has one first aid. So no gaming definitely need to make a, a play here. I either need to push or they need to go for zone. I have one of the two. In comes Chief and Ninja. 
Pulling up onto evil. So who's it gonna be? Oh, down goes Bunda. He's gonna get knocked and firsted by. Oh, down goes Dunning from the Brothers and Choco. Oh, three Brothers running right into team. Here comes Evil. Evil gets one knock. Oh, Evil almost going down. And he gets a second knock as well. Oh, down goes Evil. Last player, Priest takes them all out. And the all guards lose three players. But he manages to get four points for his team. So the O3 brothers lost no name and Choco. No name when I meant, I meant, uh, when I went, when I meant, uh, I want to see violence from you. This is not what I meant. Just to be clear, I did not mean for you to die in a rotation. But okay, it happens, I understand. You did superbly there in that Miramar game, so you are excused. First Artix gets knocked there by... Oh, First Artix actually gets... Yeah, they did lose no pain. As they rotate right past the citizens as well. Oh, and down goes 21st Century Pharaoh. Sector 7 from Tatra focusing on Sector 7 there on that top hill. Surge, Smoke and Timmy. Three players still alive. Unknown Soldier's Josh gets knocked there by Team Vibe. Knocked and... Oh, Vibe losing a player there as well. Unknown Soldier down to Batman, Genos and Senior Boy. It was actually Team Vibe. Soldiers out. And knocks there on to Genos. Oh, down goes Supremo. Beautiful return fire there from... Uh, the unknown soldiers getting down Supremo. Boji will get it. Revive and quick. Can Fields he get in the pick up here? Batman coming in here from a side. Can the unknown soldiers get down? Five gaming here in the final match. Them in their tracks. Just destroying the vehicles there. Boji and Fields getting on a buggy, getting out of there. Need to focus on zone. Pick up Supremo as well. Can they get a rotation out of this dangerous engagement? And now it's the dream team storm very low with Archer and Lucid Stark. I wonder what, ha what happened to Dream Team Chris. We haven't seen him the entire weekend. The Predators pulling up right onto the Dream Team. Arch on one side, Storm on the other. Lucid Starkey at the backside. And in comes Steroids. Looks like he's just trying to. Only does run over Storm. Oh, and Lucid Stark almost. Oh, he does take down. Oh, down goes Archer as well. Knocked and firsted, and it's now all down to Lucid Stark. They're getting hit here from behind as well. And it is the Dark Ninjas, Nazri, taking out Storm, all down to Lucid Stark. Lucid Stark just laying prone there next to the vehicle. Insane taking that bottom compound. Remember me, Chad, and steroids here on top. Beautiful Molly there from Lucid Stark. Almost on top of Remember Me. Let's see, what is Chad here up to? Oh, Lucid Stark does get the knock on to Remember Me. Way on top. Nice done. Nicely done by Lucid Stark. And the follow up nade. 
But look, look at it. It is Chad from the side. And Chad will take out Lucid Stark. And that is two points for them. As their third one got uh, taken. And Citizens taking down Fear. Vibe Gaming lost Fealty. Poji currently knocked down to Jesus and Supremo. With citizens picking up a kill. They're going to potentially pick up their second kill as well. As Dadia pulls up to the mountain there. Just on the edge of zone. Looks like they are hunting him down. They definitely, oh yep, God here giving the info to his team. And comes Angelo, angels and demons, pulling up right next to God here. Shots there. And looks like they are gonna crash. Team vibes, Primo and Jesus. Right here with angels and demons. Citizens all around. The rest of the teams all making their way. 21st century. Pulling up onto the predators here. Oh, what a beautiful night from daddy. Getting down, remember me. Down to Chad, and in comes Zero is there from the side, Insane pulling up as well. In comes the follow-up nades, and the follow-up nade from Daddy confirming that knock, and it's a 3v3 at the moment. Daddy, Agati, and Gray versus Insane, Steroids, and Chad. The dead lose Pharaoh. Oh, those nades just short. See, will this follow-up nade from Insane be good enough? That is still just so short. No, you're not gonna get that on top. Agati and Daddy falling back a bit. That's a 3v3. Looks like they're gonna disengage from that. With this next zone, are they gonna run right into shock and schnitz here on top? Barely taking the edge of zone. And comes insane as well. Followed up by 21st Century, Akati, Grey and Daddy. The rest of the team is now making their way, trying to figure out where the zone is going to go. Team Vibe still has... Focusing on the rotations. As Citizens Coast lure them out and they are almost getting a knock there onto Supremo. Looks like it is Jesus that has the deer in his sights there with the 6 6 on the M4. Citizens Coast. There's our next zone. Should beautifully read here by Citizens and Vibe. Both inside this next zone. And looks like Ghost is just having fun here with his buggy. He's just baiting them out. And there we go. FST gets knocked in a kill feed. Knocked and firsted. That is it. First Artex MT77. The last remaining player left. As Priest is just lasering upon them from the old gods. Get some beautiful hits there onto MT-77. He is the last player left for his team. Can he get three more kills here for his team? Gets another beautiful knock there. And MT-77 is trying very hard to get to his teammates. Let's see, can MT-77 actually... Oh, he does take down easy. Can he get Valley back up? 
can be extremely difficult to do. And in comes the zone. No, it is over. MT-77 needs to rotate for zone. And in comes the Predators now on to Team Beer. Outcast and Neo in front of Insane and Chad. And Valley gets confirmed there in that play zone. Citizens goes there from a distance. Oh, down goes Insane from Sector 7. Brief essentially right here on the side in an open field. And his buggy slowly pushing away from him there on the road. It's a free v free. Swags YT, Neo, Outcast. Nasri gets knocked there by Slim Cad. In comes the old gods flying in. Oh, and he's, he might just fly right into another team here. Oh, down goes Citizens. It is 21st century getting that knock beautifully done. Spotted down goes Ghost as well. 21st century daddy playing it beautifully. Jesus getting knocked by uh, Citizens. The Deer and God here versus Supremo and Jesus. Just on the edge of zone. 21st century have almost sent the zone beautifully red. Angels and Demons trying to confirm this knock on Ghost here on top. But the old gods there in that center field. Predators, steroids gets knocked as well. As well as Fear Neo. In comes Fear Outcast. Fear Outcast. Still got Swags YT left as well. We'll get the revive on to Neo. And in comes Insane. Insane the last player left. All the Predators. Oh, but Chad gets confirmed here by Swags YT right around the corner. Come Sector 7, Slim Cat, Sector 7 stole the full team. Reaper Sentry just waiting for them here on the side. And Slim Cat will get knocked with his buggy. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna go for a swim? Looks like he is. They are going in for a swim. In comes Prof as well. And down goes the Predators. Beautifully done, Neo getting that last kill in. Upper six, focusing on foul play here from the edge of outside of zone. They need to get into zone. Foul play in a very difficult position at the moment. Sector seven, nobody currently knocked. Down to Slim Cad, Prof, and no name. 21st century reading this well. They are very widely split up using the edge of the beach here. Vibe Gaming, 6 kills on the board for them. But Angels and Demons right here on top, trying to take out the old guards as they try to Priest make it. It is power, our power spot Priest is very low. Ooh, unknown soldiers here just getting nated by Angels and Demons here from behind down to senior boy the last player left and he is currently cooking and he comes it's senior boy versus Ajiro I get spotted there through the smoke taking a lot of damage he's 1 HP and he does get spotted here by Ajiro and gets taken out upper 6 search still not getting that revive in Oh, down goes Smoke as well. Angels and Demons. Getting completely demolished here from on top. And there we go. Number 6 gets completely taken out by Angels and Demons. Vibe Gaming pulling up right here next to them as well. Primo and Jesus, the last two left. 21st century stole a free man team, Agati, Gray, and Daddy. Daddy playing this one very good here in this final game. And in comes Angels and Demons now. Right here next to them. It is a Jiro putting up next to that rock. And a Jiro because he gets down Daddy. In comes Gray. Ooh, Ajiro takes down Grey as well. 
All down to Agati. And angels and demons might just get their second gen dinner here tonight. And here we go, Sector 7 completely wiped out. Agati gets run over. Oh, we'd still got uh, that. remaining for Team Vibe. Right on the edge of zone. Where is this final zone going to be? Will it be on this side or that side? It's a 2v4. 6 kills for Team 5. 9 kills for Angels and Demons. Angels and Demons versus Vibes. Last two teams. Final, final game. They're going to keep for some nades and uh, smokes. So Angelo is starting to smoke his way across the road there. Oh, the smokes. Now these two from Vibe can still clutch it. They have it. They have the gun skills. It is a 4v2. There's Angels and Demons versus Vibe. going to take the last match. In comes the zone now. Ooh, Ajiro almost gets knocked here, taking a lot of damage from Vibe. Jesus and Supremo. They have a good compound, but it's still 4v2. Oh, it looks like they wanted to push over with those smokes. Decided not to. And it is Angels and Demons that has the majority of the smoke. Jesus gets spotted here by uh, Chiro. Almost gets knocked down, taking a lot of damage. As a geo is slowly flanking. Oh, it almost gets taken out. Gets back to the Just in a nick of time. They are on the edge. They did have one knock. Oh, look at that follow up, Nate. What a beautiful molly. Jiro gets knocked down. They got two knocked. Power back up. It is Jesus and Supremo versus Hunter, Power, and Angelo. Oh, Supremo just getting too quick there up. And he gets spotted and confirmed. It's a 3v1. It is Jesus versus Angelo and Power. And this might be it. This might be it. Angels and Demons, they get two chicken dinners. Beautifully read, beautifully played there by Angels and Demons. Winning this game with 10 kills in total. Vibe Gaming in second place with 6 kills. And 21st Century in third place with 2 kills. Well, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the likes, subscribes. Thank you so much for all the chats and keeping me busy. Thank you for all the teams that played tonight and making it interesting for us I appreciate all of you for growing the esports here in africa and giving us all this action beautifully done by all the teams angels and demons getting two chicken dinners tonight oh three brothers getting two chicken dinners tonight beautifully done by you guys yesterday we had two different teams dominating tonight it was an entire different picture and you guys played your heart out it showed well, that is it from us at NPL, the Nigerian Pro League quarterfinals. See you guys again.
The sun beats down on a lonely town a couple miles.